Hello, good morning students. Today we can discuss multiplication of decimal numbers. Okay, before that all of you completed that um, addition and the subtraction questions. Okay, as homework. Now, multiplication of decimal numbers. So, first we can discuss when a decimal number is multiplied with 10, 100, 1000 like that. As the multiples of or product of uh, powers of 10, what will happen? When we multiply any decimal number with the powers of 10, what will be that answer product what we can say. So, I took one example 2.3. 2.3 when we multiply with 10. So, first you uh, take here the multiplicand is 2.3 and multiplier is 10. So, in this product the digit will be the same as the multiplicand. What is it? 2 and 3. The digit will be the same. Because otherwise 2.3, 2, when we multiply with one, the same number we will get. So, first write that in digits. Now, here, first you count how many zeros in this after one, only one zero. So, that means decimal places we want to, the decimal point we want to shift it to the right place. Okay, right side of that, according to the number of zeros in this here only one zero so we shifted that decimal point one place to right so what will be the answer here in, in this number uh, now in the question it is here so when we shifted this decimal point to right side one place what will happen here the decimal point will come here that means 23 point then after here no um, digits are there so we can write it as 23 Okay, now another example, 45.67 into 10, what will be its answer? Here also, first we check, here the number is 10, 10 have only 1, 0, so that much places we want to move to right side. So this decimal point will come, it will just shift to here, so the number will be 456.7 okay now another question um, 63.8 into 100 what will happen in this time now here we are multiplying this number with the 100 100 count how many zeros here 100 have two zeros so we want to move the decimal point two places to right side but here are only one place. After the decimal point here only one place. So to make it 2 we can add one zero there. So the answer will be 6380. Then point zero we can write. Okay. Then another example. 0 0.75 into 10. What will be in this case? Here also we are shifting this decimal point to one place to right. If it is multiplication, we are shifting the decimal point to right side. Then how many places that we want to uh, decide according to the number of zeros in this multipliers. Here only one zero. So we are moving shifted to the decimal point to only one places. So what will be the number 7.5. Now the same number if we are multiplying with 100, what will happen? 0 0.75 into 100. Here 100 have two zeros. So we want to move two places to right side. So it will be 75 or 75.0 like that. Okay. This is the first multiplication of decimals numbers with a 10, 100 or 1000 like that. Clear? Now next if we are multiplying a decimal number with any whole number. Or when we multiply two decimal numbers, what we have it, that we can discuss next. That is one example. First, I multiply a decimal number with one whole number. That is uh, 25 into 0 0.3. Okay. First, we are multiplying a whole number with one decimal number. So, in this case, first we multiply these two numbers by ignoring the decimal point. So, without decimal point, what will be this number? Only 0, 3. So, we can read it as 3 itself. So, 25 into 3, we can write it as. So, what will be 25 into 3? That answer we know. That is 75. Then, 
Then count how many places here, how many decimal places here in this total. Here only one decimal places. That means after the decimal point only one digit is there. So that much digit we want to have in the product also. So one digit answer is 7.5. Now another question. If the question is uh, 12 into hmm, 0 0.12. What will be in this case? So, here also first we are multiplying these numbers by ignoring the decimal point. What will be 12 into then that time this number we can read it as 12 itself. Then 12 into 12. 12 into 12 that answer we are writing first. What is the product of 12 into 12? 144. Now count how many decimal places in here. Here total 2 decimal places are there. So in the product also need 2 decimal places. So it will be 1.44. That is one case. Now another case is when we are multiplying 2 decimal numbers. What will happen? So one example. 0 0.3 into 0 0.5. So in this case also just like this. We are multiplying these decimal numbers by ignoring the decimal places decimal point that means this number will become 3 and this number will become 5 so 3 into 5 that we know 15 now after that you count total how many decimal places in these two that we want to count here after decimal point how many digits only one digit here also after decimal point one digit total two digits are there so that much total two digits want to be in the product. After the decimal point in the product need two digits. So here already in this product have two digits. So we can write it as 0 0.15. Now another example. 6.25 when we multiply with 83.4. What will happen in this case? So first we are multiplying these numbers. Without the decimal point, that is 625 and this number will be 834. So first we are finding its product by multiplication 625 into 834. Then multiply, you will get the product as uh, 5,21,000 out of you multiply it in your notebook as a full step. The answer is 5,21,250. Now after that you count how many decimal places in this 2, here is here 1. So total how many decimal places? 3 decimal places. So that much decimal place you want to move after here 2, here 1, total 3. So 3 digits 1, 2, 3 the decimal point will be here. So what is the answer? 521.250. Okay, only this. That much. So, first, uh, when we multiply a decimal number with the 10, 100 or 1000, what will be the rule? So, we are um, it will the multiply that number uh, with the 10, 100 or 1000. So, in that case, we are shifting that decimal places, decimal point according to the number of zeros in the multiplier. Okay, if it is 1, 0, we move the decimal point just one. Uh, right uh, one place to the right side if it is two zero we move uh, two places to right side that type and if it is one multiply a decimal number when we multiply a whole number so first we are multiply the number by ignoring the decimal point that is 25 multiply with the three then in the product we add one decimal places after the product there need how many decimal places one decimal places because in this Multiplier also have one decimal place. Now if it is both decimal numbers, if we are multiplying two decimal numbers together, so first we count how many decimal places in the first one, here two, here how many decimal places, one, total three places are there, so in the product need two decimal places, according to that we insert that decimal point. Okay, thank you, that's it.